Hey guys, today we're going to work through hip flexors, straightening some our lower back. So if you work in the office and sitting a lot or you're traveling, that would be great practice for you. at short, so you can do it wherever you want. Okay, come to the beginning of your mat, place your feet parallel, press down all four corners, magnetize your legs, so you're kind of drawing energy from your hips, heels all the way up towards your heels, hips, I'm sorry, <laughs> close your eyes, make your side body long, roll your, gently roll your shoulders back, close your eyes and just spend some moments here to arrive to connect and let go place your hands in front of your chest bow down nice as you inhale bring both hands up then oh with your um, right hand grab your left wrist inhale lengthen as you exhale start shifting your pelvis towards your left and your upper body towards your right coming to a lateral opening of your spine gently look up if you can keep swaying your hip towards your left you can eventually start deweighting your right leg so maybe you can place it just on the toes on the big toe maybe even float it slowly come back grab your right wrist with your left hand inhale lengthen exhale shift your pelvis towards your right your upper body towards your left keep shifting start deweighting your left feet left foot left leg use just the big toe or maybe float it completely feel the opening gently look up nice slowly come back to the center release your arms down inhale arms up exhale tilt your pelvis fall down uttanasana inhale come halfway find your neutral spine lengthen make your side body long as you exhale fold and bow inhale press and charge your heels magnetize your legs Bring your torso all the way up to standing arms overhead. Exhale, hands and namaste. Release them down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, tilt your pelvis. Fold and bow. Uttanasana. Inhale, come halfway up. Find your neutral spine. Exhale, fold and bow. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Arms overhead. Exhale, hands in front of your chest. And we do it one more time. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Release your torso, your neck and head. Inhale, come halfway. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, press onto your heels. Come all the way up to standing arms overhead. Exhale, hands in front of your chest. Then keep your feet parallel. Bend your knees send your hips back the more you will be sending them back the easier and lower you can go then charge your heels more 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 keep your arms down but open your chest roll your shoulders back just for a moment and feel the activation of the back side of your legs then bring your arms overhead Utkatasana, a nice way to activate and energize the body and feel your legs. One more breath, well done. Then exhale, release and bow. Inhale, come halfway up. As you exhale, place both hands, then bend knees and step your right foot back, lower your right knee to the floor. If you need, you can toe heel your left foot so you have more space for your hips. Inhale, place both hands on top of your front knee, left knee. 
and as you exhale start sending that knee forward and see if you can sink your hips down a little bit more feels good and slowly release place both hands and step your right foot forward inhale come halfway maybe you're here this is fine exhale folding down and bow and again inhale place both hands bend knees and this time step your left foot back lower your left knee to the floor toe heel your right foot towards your right inhale place both hands onto your knee onto your right knee inhale here as you exhale send that knee forward and see if you can lower your hips and sink down a little bit more nice well done slowly release please both hands and step back come to your down facing dog and make it fluid spread your fingers wide and rotate so your index pointing directly towards the um, beginning of your mat towards the front of your mat just paddle your feet and then you can sway your hips just to feel feel then make a micro step forward See if you can lower your heels for that. Then shift the weight towards your right hand. And with your left hand, grind the outside of your right calf muscle. Inhale, lengthen as you exhale, twist. And see if you can look over your right armpit here. Release. And then again, shift your weight towards your left. With your right hand, grab the outside of your left calf. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Slowly release. On the next inhale, lift your right leg up. As you exhale, bend that knee and place your right shin onto the floor, your knee next to your right wrist. Back up your left leg, but keep your toes, left toes tucked under and knee active. Don't let it go down. Keep it up. Keep your right foot flexed. You can open it gently towards your, uh, towards your right and then right hip, scoop it under and widen your right hip towards your right. You can stay here or maybe you could try, sometimes block helps so you can place your forearms onto the block. Then lower your left knee and untuck your left toes for a deeper stretch. Slowly release, remove your block, tuck your left toes under, lift your left knee and step your right foot back. Come to your down facing dog. And then lift your left leg up on the next inhalation as you exhale draw the knee in towards the chest then lower your left shin so your right left knee next to your left wrist then start backing up your right leg but keep your toes tucked under and your right knee off the floor stay here and again, widen your hips towards your left. So kind of finding your neutral hips there, squared hips. And maybe you can lower your forearms to the floor on the block or to the floor. That's how. And then lower your right knee, untuck your right toes, coming to a deeper stretch but keep shifting that left hip towards your left and see if you can breathe into that into that left hip 
releasing some tension and often we have some hidden emotions there so that's a great way to release them as well okay good you guys slowly shift onto your hips so uh, shift towards your left and bring both legs cross them and for the final pose you can be right here try to bring uh, one shin on top of another just simple way of um, it's a fire log but we do a simple way so your feet flexed and your feet directly underneath your knees and if you can shift those shins away from your groin as much as you can would be nice bring your toe uh, bring your fingers to the back and just gently open your uh, chest here looking up as you exhale bring your hands to the front and see if you can fold slowly come up and we need to switch legs to equalize the effort and feel our hips so sometimes one hip is better than the other one leg is you know more flexible than the other this is perfectly fine this is how our body our bodies work so just respect it acknowledge it and be with it and fold but keep your feet flexed this is very important for your knees for the stability and safety of your knees breathe into your hips slowly come all the way up find your comfortable seat close your eyes in front of your chest and bow your head thank you for practicing with me hope you enjoyed the practice please like the video and subscribe to my channel namaste thank you guys